Hi everyone! So today I have a pretty big de-stash video for you. I just got this in the mail today. Um, I'm a member of a few of the de-stash groups on Facebook. And so I got this one from de-stash that wax, I think. Um, I bought it from a lady on there. It is... 89 ounces of wax, I believe, from all different vendors. Some of them are ones I haven't tried before, like smaller ones that I, some of them I hadn't even heard of. Um, so I was really excited to get that, and it even came a day early. Um, I put it in the buckets myself because the box was really full, and there was no way I was getting it packed back in there, you know, prettily enough to put it on video. So I'm just going to go through um, some of this. Now, <clears throat> in the description, she said that everything has been poured in the last seven months um, except for a few things from Daphne's which were from March uh, 2014 so that's kind of older um, but I found a few other things in there that were older than seven months so I was a little disappointed with that that she hadn't been completely honest with me because um, I know some of the groups consider it um, something older than six months or especially older than a year which some of this is they consider that to be called an ass wax or wax that isn't as good um you know especially like when it's not as pretty now i don't know if um some of this was just like the way the shipping came like this one um see i know wax gets all over the bags and packages and there was no like um, tissue paper or packing material in the box. It was literally just stuffed full of wax. So, you know, I don't know if that was from the shipping. You know, USPS doesn't always handle their stuff the best. Um, so I can't complain, really. Uh, I was just a little disappointed by that. But I'm pretty happy with most of it. This is a mostly fruity de-stash. And I'm more into bakery scents, but I decided to go ahead and get this one just for its variety and to also try new vendors and have some new scents. So let's get started. So first I got, this is a clamshell in um, The Omen from Super Tarts. And there is one cube missing, um, which I don't mind, but I wish, again, I wish she would have told me. And, uh... I don't know, like I don't have the scent description for this, but it, yes it's fruity, but it also has something that smells like plasticky kind of. I don't know if that's from the clamshell itself and see it's like already broken up too. But um, I saw someone in the group was like looking for this scent, so I might send that to them because um, I might burn a cube just to try, but I don't really like that one. Um, and then I got... A full clamshell in Sensational Tropical Fiesta. These are the ones from Walmart. Sorry, that shadow is kind of sucky. Um, my roommate had this earlier this year, and I like it. It smells fine. I'll keep that one. Um, you know, the Walmart wax actually isn't very bad. Let's see. And then I got this little rose from Kushner Creations in Cherry Blossom. Um, it's kind of ugly. I don't know like the wax or the dye from the wax. It's kind of seep into the bag. It's like really neon. Um, and it's very soft wax. It's definitely like 100% soy. It's like melting in my hands. And, um, you can see it kind of has, it has too much oil in it. You can see it where it's seeped. And this doesn't have a poor date. This is okay. It kind of smells like Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works. I'll probably burn that, but like, look, you can see it's on my fingers. Yeah, this kind of gross. Um, again, I'm not complaining. It sounds like I'm complaining a lot about this already, but, you know, those two, I just wasn't very happy with those. Um, and, like, this one is from a Life Deliberate Soap Company, which I've never heard of. Um, and it's half used, and again, she didn't tell me that, but this is a Lush type in Twilight. It was like half a moon at one point. And I love Lush and Twilight. I like the Twilight scent, but this is not a very spot on dupe. Um, and again, this wax is really soft too. But 
I think I'll like it um, when I melt it. Like, the more I smell it, the more I like it. So, we'll see. Okay, um, this one is also from Kushner Creations in Pink Sand Dunes. It is a chunky tart. And I don't have the scent description again, but I know it definitely has pink sands from uh, Yankee Candle. And I think it's, um, from what I can tell, it's also... Uh, sun and sand the real beachy one and it's actually kind of cute I really like this one um, and it smells kind of stronger than the Yankee Candle so that's always a plus um, and then there was a lot in this de-stash from Bear Wax um, and this one is a little scent shot in fine wine and their scent shots come with a lot of glitter on top. There's like a bunch of glitter in the box that this came in. Um, it smells like grape syrup, kind of. But it also has like a deeper note that I guess is supposed to be the wine. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of wine scents though. I'll still burn that one, it's okay. Okay, so then I got a Jewelry and Candles Sweet Sangria. Um, this is a huge clamshell. Now, I know that there's no jewelry in this. I, um, she said that in the description, so that, that was fine with me. And I opened it up, and I can tell that what she did was, uh, she probably looked at the bottom. I can tell, like, there, the jewelry was, like, right here. And so she picked out that particular tart or a cube with a clamshell and melted it and then just poured it back in. And, uh, see, I don't do this where she, like, go ahead... Uh, goes ahead and breaks up all of the clamshells beforehand, so they're all broken, um, which is fine. You know, you're only gonna melt one at a time anyway. Um, so then I got one thing from the bathing garden in a little Easter egg tart, and it is uh, Cleopatra's cream bath. Um, yeah, this one. It was. It doesn't say when it was poured either. I'm a little afraid, was this a, do you guys know, was this a sample or just something maybe she ordered during Easter time? It was kind of small. Um, it's okay. It's got a fruity note, but yeah, it's really creamy. It almost has like a perfumey scent to it. At first I didn't like this one, but I think, I think I'll like it. Um, so I know that the rules of this group is you can't sell samples as wax if you can give them away. I didn't get any extras in this, but like I said, there was a lot of wax. But I think some of a few of the ones that I got were samples. And again, I was just disappointed with this because I bought this from one of the admins of the group. And ha I know the rules because she herself posted the rules on the page. Okay, so I already opened this. This is bare wax and cherry, blue, raspberry, slushy, vanilla. That's the package. And I got a whole, a huge rose. This is pretty. Um, the scent, the vanilla is really like cakey, creamy, almost like a baby powdery. Um, but I like it. It's not bad. Okay. Next. So this is the Daphne's chunk that she said was older. And it was poured on April 1st 2014 so it's been over a year and this is cotton candy serendipity bedtime bath and that's the label so I would totally be okay with cotton candy serendipity but the bedtime bath I think is the one that kills me um it's kind of lavender which I like lavender I just don't know if this all goes together yeah it just it's kind of old lady-ish but I love cotton candy, and I, so I love the cotton candy note that I can get in there. So, um, and I know you can't get Daphne's anymore. So, at least I have I have this, and I think one other thing from her. Um, but I just, I might melt a piece of that, like I cut a little piece of it. And if not, I will stick it in another, like my own de-stash. Um, and also, well... I'll probably melt it because I'm trying to get my boyfriend to melt some too and tell me what he thinks. 
Um, so this is another Bear Wax Rose in Berries. I like this one. And a few others, like one of the other roses hadn't been opened even. And I, um, I opened it before the video, but... Okay, so this berries is really sweet. It's very, very fruity. Um, I think there's another note. Maybe it's like strawberry, blackberry. Maybe a slight hint of blueberry. I'm not exactly sure what's in it. But yeah, it's cute. I actually have this same this same mold that I've used for some soap before. Um, so much glitter. But it's okay. I love glitter. It doesn't bother me. I know some people don't care for it. And then I got a single tart um, from L3. I've seen this on the D-Sash before. Um, you know, so this is also 9.27.14. That's slightly over seven months, but that's okay. This is in Chicks Dig Blondes. And this kind of smells like um, strawberry blonde, but maybe it's got like another really fruity note to it it's almost too much but um i'll still burn that that one's okay okay so one bucket down empty on to the next um so then i got one thing from bit of bliss candles um this was poured in uh last december and this is in when a man loves a woman which you know I really like that song, so I was excited just to smell it. Um, I like when people use classic things and then make a scent, like a fragrance uh, blend for it. And this one's really pretty. It's a little cupcake, and then I love this kind of glitter on it, and the little chunks. Um, I don't know what this is. I almost think this might have um, like blue sugar in it, because it's got a real um, musky kind of to it but it's also really sweet like I like this I might um I'm gonna covet this for a while <laughs> and look and see if I can get any more I can actually tell this from Christmas because it's got a little Santa bag cute so I think this is like one of my favorite things that I've smelled so far from this um let's see and I also had kind of separated it before the video like one bucket was one I didn't like as much and then some of the ones that I liked more ended up in this bucket. Um, see, okay, and this is from the L3 brand as well. And the package is different. It was um, poured last June. And, yeah, this one was from September. Now, of course, they might have changed the bags. But this one makes me think this is like a more of a single tart with the little Ziploc bag. And then this one, um, it just has this kind of just like the resealable cello or this one this might be polypropylene bag um so this is a little lip shape and see this is like a sample size shape this is not like a tart you would buy so like i, I want to say that this is a sample and she just sold it as not sample wax um but it's in sort of damocles um i'm not exactly sure what that is but it, okay so i'm definitely getting peppermint notes this could be just a mix of like peppermint and spearmint. They're just all I'm getting right now is like straight peppermint. Maybe like a hint of something light and creamy, like a vanilla or like a marshmallow, maybe. Uh, I could be completely wrong, and then you guys will just think I'm stupid. But I do not have any of the descriptions in front of me, just because this is a D sash, and I wasn't gonna look them all up and. Plus it's a little older. Okay. So this is one of, I think, possibly the last, the other thing that was from Daphne's. Um, so it's four little mini um, flower tarts in mango, strawberry, kiwi, sorbet. And like she did tell me that this one was older. Mm. Oops, I dropped it. Yeah, so I am getting all, everything, all the notes that are here. The mango, the kind of tart strawberry, definitely the kiwi. So this is what it looks like. It's 
very cute. It looks like it possibly has it. I can't tell if it has its own glitter on it or that's just from my fingers from touching the other glittery ones. You can see I have wax like all over me. But yeah, I definitely I like this one. So what's nice is even though it is, you know, over a year old, this one um, Daphne still has a lot of smell or scent left in it. Okay. Oh, you know, and I think I left one other thing in the box. So um, there was a cupcake, like a full cupcake. The container was completely crushed. That was just probably poor packing. Um, that was, um, again, from Bear Wax. And it was like strawberry, raspberry, lemon, blueberry. It was just a full cupcake. And that smells pretty nice. So it was nice to get that whole cupcake. Um, so this is from Night Owl candle company and bite me oops again i took it out of the bag so that's the label um and see this is like a little owl tart and this wax is very soft i believe that this damage probably happened in shipping um and you can definitely get several uses out of a lot of these it's nice to have like the big tart and chunks um this bite me it just smells ooh, just like a, a fruit punch it's very good i like that one it's very strong um, hopefully it has a strong hot throw, not just a cold throw, because I know sometimes the ones that are pure soy, uh, soy has a better cold throw sometimes than hot throw. Why? I don't know, but I have wax all over my carpet. There's little bits going everywhere. Um, and then more from Bear Wax. This is Blueberry Cheesecake, and this is just from February. I don't know if I can get this one open. Because I already tried, and then I don't have scissors with me. No. I really want to open it for you guys, because this one's cute. So we just have to do it through the passage. It's almost there. Oh, there we go. Persevere. Never give up. Like, this one is so cute. It's got little um blueberries in it. The glitter. This is beautiful. It's like a little square cupcake. And this smells exactly like blueberry cheesecake. The bottom is not as scented as the top. I think the blueberry might be on the bottom and like the cheesecake might be on top. I don't know. But I'm really excited to melt this one. Just because it's pretty. Again, I might hold on to that for a little bit just they're nice to look at i know i know you're supposed to melt them but i like to hoard things kind of um so then i got a mimi's in overpour and i knew this one was an overpour whatever it is it smells really good i'm definitely getting uh lemon like the lemon sugar button cake out of this, or just lemon butt cake, but not butt. Sorry, <laughs> or maybe like lemon poppy seed. I want to say it's lemon bun cake. Yeah, it's just an air report. But on the bright side, I know that all these are cured and ready to go whenever I want them. Okay. Um. Let's see. I have a few more scent shots from Bear Wax. So this one is over the rainbow. And I can't pop this out because I tried, so I'm gonna have to like freeze it first. But it's so cute because it's literally like a rainbow. Someone took time to do this, and again, everything of theirs has the glitter on it. Um, it smells really good. Definitely, I taste or taste. Oh, I can't talk today. <laughs> um, I smell a lot of berries in this. So yummy, like that one. Again, I think she ordered so much from Bear Wax and none of it is open. Like, she's got, I don't know if this is just one order or two orders, because some of the dates are January and some are February of this year. Like this one. Um, this is the Bear Wax in Pick Me. And it's another one of the big rose tarts. With a ribbon. I should have been prepared for this. It's hard to get off. So that's like I know she didn't open this. Okay. 
not sure I'm a fan of this one. Pick me, it's, um, I guess it's like pick me like flowers. I was hoping it was pick me like berries. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of floral, but it's really pretty. Yeah, that one might give me a headache. I might put that in a, a D sash for someone else. Because, you know, I know the florals are not as popular, but someone out there likes them. Otherwise, no one would carry them. And I have one more thing from Bear Wax, and this one also hasn't been open. It's um, a chunky tart, and this is in Gummy Bear. They spell bear like their company. Gummy Bear Cherry Hawaiian Pineapple. This is also from January. And I don't know if it's going to open either. Um, I'm, I think I'm more of a bakery person after smelling all of these. Well, I already knew that because I always gravitate towards bakery ones when I order them. I've got two more orders I'm waiting for coming in this week. So happy for that. Oof. Oof, no, the chunks are falling off. Hmm. I kind of like this. I'm not a huge fan of pineapple smells, and I can smell the pineapple in there that I'm not crazy about. But, um, what else is in this? Cherry. I love cherry. And, yeah, the pineapple's killing me, though. I'll have to burn this in, like, small amounts. Melt this in small amounts. But, yeah, I really like the cherry, and the gummy bear is good, too. Yeah. I lost a chunk, though. It's still in the bag. Um... Oh, I lied. I had one bear wax over here I didn't see. This is also in a chunky. So this one is strawberry, raspberry, grape, lemon. Again, in a chunky tart. And this one, like, the colors are really pretty. Pink, yellow, purple. And this just smells like all the fruits that are in here. You can definitely smell strawberry, raspberry. I get a lot of grape. And there's the lemon. So, like... I guess this is the strawberry and raspberry in here, and then the grape is the purple and the yellow is the lemon. Makes sense. And that's kind of what I smell when I get closer to it. Okay. Let's see, what else do I have? Okay, so um, I actually have one more Daphne's, and this is from April 2014, and Lemon Dippity. That's kind of cute. That's, I get the serendipity and the lemon. The lemon's prominent just because lemon's a sharper fragrance, but I like that one. I'm pretty pleased with the Daphne's in here. I think it's the best of some of the older wax that was in here. Um, ooh, and I think I just knocked the camera. Sorry, guys. I'm almost done now. So I got another, um, Easter egg shape, but it's not from the bathing garden. This one is from Fuss Ass McGee in Berrylicious. So this is from this Easter because it's from March. Yep. Berrylicious. Like that. I like Fuss Ass McGee. But uh, something happened with the dye there. Got a little wonky. But I like these because you don't have to cut them up. You can if you want. You can just throw these ones on the warmer. Okay. Oh, goodness. I have another scent shot from Bear Wax. There's a lot of bear. Gummy bear. Yeah, this is the gummy bear that I smelled in the other one. Yeah, it literally just smells like gummy candy. But this is really pretty. So cute with little gummy bears in it. I'll kind of be sad to burn that one. Melted. Melted sounds better than burning because this doesn't have a candle wick. But I, I still call them, I think, a tart burner or warmer. So then I have a big chunk from Elf 3 in Watermelon Honeydew Pink Sugar. The package just got ugly. But this chunk is really big. Mmm. Mmm, I love pink sugar. Watermelon, the melons, both of them, watermelon and, and honeydew. The pink sugar, like, this was just a really good combination. A really good blend. I like that. Mm, good thing it's a big one, because it'll last me a while. That might be my, one of my other favorites from this, too. 
Okay, we're almost done here. So I guess I have saved like my three little favorite things for last. I got a little mini grubby loaf from Ava's Country Cupboard and lemon pound cake. I love Ava's. Love for wax, love for scents. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. And this is, okay, see this one was poured last April as well. So this one's over a year old too and I didn't know that. But like I said, at least it's cured and I can cut this up and melt it now. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Love Ava's. Okay, so, and then just reading the list of the descriptions, I knew that there would be two scents from Vintage Chic scents in here. Um, and I was most excited for those because I love Kirby. I love watching her YouTube videos. I know she hasn't posted in almost a year now, which makes me sad. But I'm really happy that her business is thriving. She's like at the top of the wax community right now. Everyone loves her, everyone wants her. It is so hard to get her restocks and I've been struggling to do that. So I was really happy to see that there was some things um, in this D-Stash that had her stuff in it. And that's probably one of the things that I was like pushing for, which made me buy this the most. Well, it turns out they came in two of the little one ounce samples. I know that these are samples from her because um, I've seen her shipping day video where she sends these to samples and like other things. So this one, and she sold it as regular wax. I know I sound a little salty, but I'm so happy to have these. I won't melt them until I, I, um, I dropped it again. I won't melt them until I uh, can get my hands on some more. So I got one of these little cups in Snow White's Curse, and this is from last October. My finger's all pink from some of the other waxes. It smells so good. I know why people love her, like love everything she does. I don't know if this is going on the description. This is what I would pick for myself. I smell the apple, I like apples. It almost has like, I think, rose in it as well. I'm not a huge fan of rose scents, but I will like cherish that. And then I got one more of those um, in Little Briar Rose, which I wanted to get my hands on. Ah, it smells so good. This one's definitely my favorite. And look, it's so tiny. I wish I had more. Well, it's better than nothing. I can't tell you how happy I am to have this. Um, so, oh, it's amazing. It's so sweet and light. I'm hoping the, the throw is really good. I've heard she's got great stuff. Okay, so that wraps it up for my D-Sash. Um, this, I like most everything that I got, but I have to tell you that I'm a little bit disappointed in, um, you know, my faith in D-Sashes. I don't know if I'll be ordering another one. Um, anytime soon or I want to make sure it's in better shape. I guess I did get a good deal on this because it's over five pounds of wax and I only paid $50 and that included shipping and PayPal fees. Um, so I'll see you once I melt the wax. I'm sure everything will smell really, really good. I'm just picky because I like, I'm a perfectionist. I like everything to be perfect and some of the packaging just wasn't, but this was a good one. Okay, sorry if I brought you down a little. I didn't. I don't mean to complain, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll get you next time. Bye, guys.